Hey everyone, it's Angela and today I wanted to show you how to mask in Photoshop. This is an amazing skill to know how to do in Photoshop. Instead of doing global edits, you can really pinpoint what you need to do in Photoshop if you need to lighten a certain area or darken a certain area, change the color or anything like that. It really helps bring your photo editing to a whole new level. It's a little bit difficult to understand at first, but with a little bit of practice, you'll definitely get it and you'll be glad that you understand how to do it. So here I have a picture of the Jefferson Memorial and I am just going to copy this layer by hitting Command J or you could just go to Layer and hit Duplicate Layer. Um, just the keyboard shortcut is really easy. And I'm going to make this extremely, extremely light. Uh, yes. I'm going to make it extremely light so that you can see what the difference is. For your photo editing, you could change it to blue, you could change it to red, you could change it really dark. You can do anything you want to this layer um, to whatever you need done for your image. So let's just say we wanted to just line up the memorial and nothing else, nothing in the sky or the trees or anything like that, just the memorial itself. So I'm going to hit this button right here it's a circle inside of a square and that is automatically and that is automatically going to show this um, addition this little chained link layer right here the default is to leave it white and that means you can see everything that is on this layer everything that is connected to this layer but if we fill it in with black and for that I just hit shift f5 and then it fills it in with black, or you could also go to edit, fill. But you know, keyboard shortcuts are the bomb. And how I like to think of these layer masks is kind of like a scratch off. When it's all black, you can't see anything. But when you start scratching it off with your paintbrush, that's when you can start seeing the layers underneath. So I like to start at a low opacity. Right now my opacity is at 25, but just for example purposes, I'm gonna bump it up just so we can see what it looks like easily. So I am going to make sure my mask or my paintbrush is at white right there and then I'm just going to start painting in the layer mask and make sure you're clipped on the layer mask. There have been so many times where I've clipped on the actual layer and I don't see anything happening. So I'm on the layer mask painting in white and usually I have this at 25%, 20% just so I can build it up. But just to show you as an example, it's at 100% and you can definitely see where it is lightened up. You can see it there, there's a black rectangle with a white circle of just where I painted in the middle. Let me show you how I build it up. So if we go up to the 20 or to the 17%, bring the mouse down a little bit, the cursor down, and we're just going to lightly paint. You can see the subtle, the subtle differences in the trees. But once you start going over it some more and more and more, it's where you're starting to layer it up. And you can actually start seeing the white show up in your layer mask. So just a quick and easy tutorial on how I use layer masks in Photoshop. It's a great tool to know, and I hope you guys try it out. See you later. Bye. Today is giveaway day. We're going to give away the Sparta for Elite.